in three. No, two. we are recording. Oh, we're recording now. Yeah. So be careful. There's the stop button and there's pause. Just make sure we're always see the bottom. Yeah, oh, you got yeah we're counting. We're doing the density test using the bead method. Yep. So you want a, you want a large enough sample that fits inside the beaker that you're going to use the, for the beads. Okay. So that it, it doesn't extend over the top of the beaker and it doesn't touch the sides of the beaker. Okay. So that it'll be completely surrounded on all sides by the beads. So you want to get some sample. You want to get a sample, score it so that it fits inside the cup. There's no loose loose particles. It's cleaned up as much as possible. You're gonna weigh the sample. So the first sample what came out 25, 26.2 grams. 26.2 grams. Oops, now it's tearing it, so but that's all right. We know what it is. We wrote it down. You fill this thing up completely to the top. Start with a completely filled thing. You put it in this thing because it's gonna off. it's gonna grab the excess beads. This is yeah, we're gonna discard the rest of these unexpanded polyesterine beads. Polyesterine. We want to keep that. So basically, the test is measuring the amount of the volume of beads that are gonna be displaced by the size of the sample. So we start with a perfectly so we're pouring the beads back. Yeah, we don't need any of these extra beads. And the excess beads we don't need, okay. Cool. All, All right. we care about is what's in that beaker. All right, cool. Still recording, Daddy? Still recording. All right. Now, we don't want to lose any of these beads. So we dump them out make room for our sample. Looks like we dug, we leave a little bit in there. Yeah, we want to leave some in the bottom. So the, the, the theory is, or the, the procedure is, you want the beads to surround the sample on all sides, bottom, top, and every side. So we always want to leave some beads in the bottom of the sample. Below the sample. Okay. And we're basically just going to pour the rest of these beads in there. Oh, it looks like it's, you, you want to get that thing surrounding it. And you overfill it, grab your little dealio. Yep, we're going to trowel it off again. Trowel it off. Pretty careful with it. You don't want to shake it. You don't want to try and compact the beads in any way. Okay, you don't want to shake it or compact the beads. You just want to be real gentle with it. Or screw it off, so screw it off. We don't care about that anymore. All we care about are these beads. These are the beads. So we do care about the beads that were taken off this second round. We put those beads into into that into the toolbox. Now he's taking the excess beads that he screwed it off from here and he's putting it in the beaker. So, hold that beaker. Yes, sir. You don't want to shake it too much, you just want to get it level so you can get a good reading. So that's 102. Okay, that's it. Okay, get a close up on that, Danny. That's 102 of so the manufacturer. This is 100, and each of these are 2 milliliters. So okay, that's 2, 4, 6, 8, and 110. So I'd say it's about 102. 102 milliliters. These are milliliters, these graduations. Get your little ASTM book. I don't know if I have the phone. Um, everything's in my phone. <laughs> I think I got it right here. Okay, cool. Dang it. You know what? This thing has my calculation tape. I believe. Check it out. Oh, there you go. Oh, uh, that's the bond test. Here's the density. Here we go. So the weight was 20 what? 26.2 was our 26.2 grams was our weight. And um, so it's 62. 62.43 divided by actually we'll do the weight. 
26.2. 26.2 grams. Times. Times. 62.43. So the weight times 62.43 divided, by, divided the by the volume, which was 102, 102 milliliters. And that did not come out right. 26.2. <laughs> uh huh. Divided by an extra number equals okay 16. That's not the ideal weight. We're looking. Are we looking for 15 or something? 15. Yeah, it's we're as low as they can go. As low as they can, can go. Be as high as they want. Oh, it'd be okay. They don't, they don't want it high. So our, our minimum is 15. Is 15. And there was 16. And we got 16. We're doing good then. Yes. Right. Okay, and that's how you do the uh, displacement. Bead displacement. Bead displacement method for density weight. Press stop.